year three, which came your pivotal transitional year, mm-hmm. what what did you make that year? Uh, like around two thousand two hundred. 200,000 in vending machines. Yeah, my business grew through the pandemic. Um, I know it, it's crazy to, to talk about, but when now that I step back, um, it's not really crazy when you think about it. Yeah, yeah. Because most of the, most during the pandemic, everybody was kind of trying to step away from it because like, everything's closing down. Um, but I ain't never been that kind of person, you know? So for me, I'm like, all right, eventually this is going to be over. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to try to get in front of as many locations as I could as possible so that way when it was over that they had me in their mind. Mm. Um, so what I did was I paid for mm. um, a SEO specialist to um, update the SEO on my website. I started to run Google ads. Because um, I just started thinking, like, man, it's, it's, it's 19,000 cities in America. Uh, so it's, it's, it's almost impossible for everything to be closed down and for everything to be taken. Um, and so I started to focus on that. And then I started to kind of shift my focus from where I was having vending machines. Because at that point in time, I had an amazing student housing location, which was earning, which was grossing like, you know, thirty two to thirty five hundred dollars a month. Um, you say student housing, college, college. OK, college. All, right, all right. So um, and I started to look and I started to see like, man, what could what could be open? You know, everybody's worried about what's shutting down. But I'm like, what could be open? And I started to notice things like warehouses were still open, you know, manufacturing, landscaping, nice. because, you know, people are still working on. This kind of stuff, yeah. and when you look at the fact that many um, of them may have been going to gas stations and things of that nature, and now the pandemic is kind of impacting that, and they want the guys to just kind of be on side, stay away from as much public. I'm like, mm, that might be the wave, you know. So I started reaching out to them, but then also, like I said, the SEO specialists um, increased my visibility. You know, mm. so I want to give a shout out to my man Reggie um, uh, Cherry Lub- Lubin. He, yeah. he he's amazing with the SEO. He local. Um, kind of. He's, he's. I think he's in VA. Sure, I'm gonna hit you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he was. He's really, really good with that. I mean, my my stuff kind of took off after. Um, after you paid him. After I paid him. So, so Marvin, when I, when I, when I, and I love this man. Uh, <coughs> like, bro, you. I, I just. I'm just honored to be across from another black man, who didn't. Who didn't run away. You. you one thing my father taught me was adapt, adjust, and overcome. Mm-hmm. So you would you okay? Pandemic hits, and you say, you know what? How do I adapt? How do I pivot? And how do I adjust and get ahead of where everyone else is thinking? Okay, cool. I'm gonna get out of the vending machine business. We're not. We don't have any traffic. You was like, yo, let's let's pivot. Yeah. And let's get ahead of it. Business may be slow right now, but it wasn't that slow. You went from twenty five thousand to two hundred thousand dollars. Correct. So that was year three into the game, which was what, 2020, right? Correct. 2021, what'd you do? Uh, like 300. God! 300. God, God! Yeah. So 2021, you went up 100,000. We're still in the midst of COVID. Correct. The world was halfway open, halfway closed. Yeah. You're still pivoting, still SEOing, you're still putting things into it. 2022, this year, where you at? We're going to hit a half a mil. A half a million dollars. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to a couple. I Listen, I have one location. Like, it's it's amazing. Like, people can't believe that it's possible. Um, But, man, I, I maybe, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just lucky, but I, yeah. I don't think so. But <laughs> let's just say I am lucky. I got, I got an amazing location Um, that's a gaming, uh, 24-hour gaming. You know, they have about 400 people there Um, every day. And that location, they just earned 9800 last month. Um, but the beauty of that location is that they have four other locations that they gave us. And, you know, because of my team doing such a great job. So they gave us uh, one in, you know, in Detroit. Um, that one earned about 5600 last month. Um, Connecticut. Um, that one was about 4000 last month. And then we have two in New Jersey that we're actually going to be putting in towards the end of the month. So if you're talking about one that's going to do like 120000 you know, so just those combined is is killing it. Plus, you know, some of the other you know, student housing, things of that nature. Like when you – and it's not like I – like I those locations <laughs> – sorry, those locations by themselves are running up a couple hundred thousand. Plus, you know, I have 20 other machines, you know, so when How many you, machines total do you have? All right, 23 right now. So it's not hard to, like, it's not, when you combine those, it's not hard to, to get to that number. Um, it's just that I, I think that I hit a lick. Um, but 
I, I do credit my team, mm -hmm. my team for my, my sister, who was my main staff. Okay. Um, I moved her from home to come work with me. And, and, and then, you know, once everything was set in Philly, um, where I, you know, was at, I was able to move to Maryland. You know, she, she takes care of everything in Philly, Delaware, and New Jersey. Um, um, shout out to my, my, my son's, my son's mother. Um, she, she joined the team and helped me expand too. Seriously. Um, correct. You know, she you are employing your son's mother. Correct. And, yeah. it, and, 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 and respectfully engaged to another woman. Correct. Come on. That's the time. Let's go, Mark. Put him on the map, baby. Yo, bro. Like, how do you feel? Being a young black man, successful today, making a half a million dollars a year, and then what, like, realistically, what do you see yourself doing next year with this vending machine business? Um, definitely crossing seven seven figures. Um, um, my my one of my most important things I want to do is to pay my sister six figures. I wanted to join the six figure club. Mm -hmm. Um, looking to expand to more states. Cause like I said, when Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Michigan, um, Maryland. Actually, I just sold a uh, location. Um, my last location in Maryland, uh, selling for $9,000. Um, so, but, you know, we'll kind of keep on growing into different states because now we kind of have that structure um, set up. Mm. Um, you know, people are like, man, it's, you know, <laughs> have some vendors that kind of hating on me right now when they see my story come out. Cause there's no way he only works such and such hours a week. But it's true when you have a team like I have a team. So how many hours do you work a week? What do you mean? Um, really, I, I want to say about four hours a week with the vending machine business. Like there's other stuff I do, you know, online or other things. But like when it comes to my vending machine business, um, I had one location in PG County that I stocked. It took about it take about two hours and you know a day, but I only stocked it once a week. I throw in the extra two hours because you just you know never know whatever miscellaneous stuff can happen. Yeah. But when I have a team in Philadelphia, I have a team in Connecticut, a team in Detroit. Um, it's not much for me to do. I have an assistant who takes care of some of the back end stuff. It's not hard to see why I'm only with this business. I'm not really hands on now. Two years ago. Man, my life was this. That's everything, every day. Every Didn't, day. Um, but well, like, you put systems and in processes place. in place to where you can only work about four hours a week. Correct. So if anything was to happen to me, my business is going to continue to function at a, a great, you know, um, great. And I, I listen. I'm probably gonna credit her a lot throughout this 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 um, interview. But my fiance, you know, what I'm saying she talked about that. Like, if anything happened to you, you want these things to be in place so your your, your business is able to, you know, stay right. afloat and do well. You know, yeah. so that's you know, teaching my sister how to take care of interviews and manage things. You know, wow. to go on them and, and lock down locations. You know, teaching you know my staff how to fix this or to work with that and order this kind of product and evaluate. You know, so that way, you know, I go on vacation every month. <laughs> yeah, me and my fiance, we go on vacation every single month. Every single month. 